Hi, my name is Martin Trivieri with Platinum Condos, and I am thrilled to announce today the launch of XO2, a condo at King Street West and Dufferin. Um, before I kind of get into the whole project, I do want to talk a little bit about the market, what we see happening, and address any concerns that you might have. Before we do though, please, if you find any value in this video, click that like button. It helps other people like you find this information. And if you want to help the channel and stay informed with what's going on in the market and all the pre-construction launches, hit that subscribe button. So obviously the interest rate hikes, those are the big headlines we see in the media. Uh, but these are necessary steps that they need to take. Inflation's got way out of control, extreme highs, and in reality, these agreements, these are just normalized. Uh, we're not at record highs, 20% that we've seen previously. This is a historically normal uh, interest rate that we've kind of become to, and it's looking as if in early 2023, we're gonna see that plateau, the past interest rate hike, only 50 basis points, start to kind of show that uh, they're not looking at increasing it as rapidly as they were. And even after that, we saw the market favorably responding. One thing that a client recently said to me that really did stick with me was that throughout their lifetime, they couldn't name one thing that has gone down in price, but they have named a lot of things, including real estate that has continuously gone up. Look at gas in 2009, when gas in Canada hit $1, everyone thought that we were gonna go into riots and protests about it. Nothing happened and it continued on. And then nowadays, if you get $1.50, you know, that's an absolute steal. Core Toronto is still up 6% on average year over year. And even the GTA as a whole, it's really plateaued. Uh, you know, detached housing obviously took a hit and townhome, or sorry, semis obviously took a hit. But over the past three months, we've really seen it plateau. And part of the reason is the inventory and the supply. One thing we talk constantly about is the immigration policies in Canada. The Canadian government has increased those policies, made them more ambitious. So we're looking at about 500,000 people every single year for the next three, four, five years. Uh, this is gonna put a massive strain, but one thing we're not talking about is the millennials. This is Canada's largest uh, generational population. And they're all starting to enter the housing market as a first time home buyer, or even to upgrade and move uh, into their second home. Uh, so from the one beds to twos or twos to threes. That along with the foreign students coming back, a lot of them are buying properties when they come back and they stay in that property for their four year education. The supply is gonna get even more limited. So another massive headline that we've seen in the market is the rental rates. They absolutely skyrocketed as soon as interest rates started to increase. We're looking at one bedrooms in 2021, they were going around 1900 per month. In 2022, they're going for over 2300. Two bedrooms were going around 2600 in 2021 per month. And now they're going around 3000 per month in 2022. Three bedrooms had the largest increase. They were sitting around 3,000 per month in 2021. Now in 2022, they're at 3,800, an $800 increase per month. Three bedrooms in the King and Dufferin area are under massive, massive demand. They're renting around 4,800 per month on average. These are massive numbers that we don't see coming down anytime soon with the immigration uh, policies coming in. Now to talk a little bit more about the project itself, it's right at King and Dufferin on the northeast corner. And this area is under a massive redevelopment uh, from just kind of one example is the transit. So right now the streetcar is literally a minute walk, but there is a new Go Smart Track. Uh, the Go Smart Track, it's literally a two minute walk. What it's doing is it's creating a, an express route right to Union Station and it's gonna connect the west end of Toronto to Union Station and then even go into the east end. So this is gonna be very, very useful. It's gonna cut the time in half traveling to Union Station from uh, King and Dufferin. Along with that, you've got the GO train. If you five minute walk south towards the waterfront, you've got the GO train there. 
in the new Ontario Line subway, already under construction, literally right at Canada Place, and it's going to connect um, Canada Place, all the lower core of Toronto, which there is no existing infrastructure there now. All this is going to get connected uh, and connect to the Young subway line all the way to the east end to the new uh, East Harbour Transit Hub. The reason why we see this as such a valuable project is that the dollar per square foot, unheard of in core Toronto. You look at Alias, you saw prices at Forma, but you look at Alias, $1,900, $2,000 per square foot. You look at Celeste, $1,800, $1,900 per square foot. Uh, and then again, Forma, you're already over $2,100 at Forma. So part of the reason why this location is so desirable too, you're right on King West. You're uh, walking distance to Queen West, walking distance to Dundas West. Ossington is a short walk away. The top tier restaurants all along Ossington, the nightlife of King Street, the bars of Dundas, the Italian food in Little Italy. Uh, you have uh, Liberty Village, very short walk as well, where all the banks, grocery stores are, um, gyms, top tier gyms, Altia. You have uh, the waterfront, which is a 15 minute walk, if that, very pleasant walk. There's parks along the way as well. Uh, you have BMO Field, you have Budweiser Center, Budweiser Stage, sorry, where all the concerts are hosted. And along with that, everything on the south edge of XO2 it's all heritage pretty much until the water so anything above the sixth floor on the south side it's going to have water views the east side will have city views and these are going to be very hard who knows in 50 years if it gets obstructed but in the short uh, 20 years 25 years it's going to be very very tough the carpet factory is there very big historical landmark for Toronto and how it formed. Uh, and we have very strict regulations around heritage in Toronto specifically. The floor plans are excellent. The deposit structure is incredible. You're going to be paying 10000 on signing. Balance it to 5% in 30 days. 5% in 300 days. So that's going to be next year. And then the 5% in 600 days and then nothing until occupancy. You're looking at a fall occupancy 2024. Main key, key features too, not features, but um, uh, reasons why this is such a powerful investment is, is that all the permits were put in place before Toronto increased all the development levies by 49%. The builder, they're not gonna absorb that from the government. That's a government charge to them. It's gonna get passed all the way down to all the end users. So by buying projects that have already had their permits in, that's going to be savings in your pocket. Thank you so much for listening. We do appreciate your time. If you'd like to reserve or have any more questions, please reach out to myself, Martin Trivieri, at 647-293-2989. Thank you and look forward to speaking.